So I'm just going to shoot some questions at you, and uh, okay. you have to be real quick. Okay. Okay. So starting. Full name. Preeti Zinta. One minute. There is somewhere on Google. It says, or my friend Google told me that there is somebody has said that my real name is not Preeti Zinta. It's Preetam Singh Zinta or some <laughs> rubbish like that. Please. My real name is Preeti Zinta. The reason Preetam ever came into the picture was because Bobby Deol is my very dear friend, but he's also the biggest ass on this planet. Because he started calling me Preetam on the sets of Soldier because he said, you're like a boy. And you're not like a girl, you're like a guy. And so he started calling me Preetam. And then Rani picked it up and she would say Preetam and it became a joke. And this joke is not leaving me now because on Google it says her real name is Preetam. So for the record, my name is not Preetam. My name is Preeti. <laughs> nice and <Okay>. sweet. <laughs> Uh, what's your pet name? Pet name? Like a okay. nickname. Okay, nickname is just PZ. PZ. Yeah. Uh, what's the one name you hate being called? Bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbly <laughs> with bubbles. <laughs> okay. Uh, that and uh, Bubbly again. <laughs> I hate being called Bubbly. <laughs> so please don't call me Bubbly. Okay, Bubbly okay. twice. Yeah. Uh, do you remember your first job? My first job, <laughs> you don't want to know. So it was, I, I didn't get paid for it because I was really young and my friend's mom had a beauty parlor. So I, I wanted to be independent. So I said, auntie, please can I come and help in the beauty parlor? So every day I used to come and stand there and stare at everybody. So one day she said, okay, I'll teach you how to cut hair. And there was this little kid and they said, okay, you know, you cut like this. I said, can I try? And I kind of snipped his ear. <laughs> and he started going, Wah! <laughs> so, I mean, little bit I snipped it, but the kid kind of threw such a tantrum that I was politely asked to leave. So, after that, nobody ever gave me a job till I became, uh, uh, yeah, then I, what did I do? Then I modeled before the Perk uh, commercial. Um, I think it was the Weekender commercial, and my best friend's brother, Leon, one day called me and he said, are your legs shaved? <laughs> and I said, what does that mean? He's like, please, I'm going to lose my job because um, my leg model hasn't shown up and I know you have nice legs. So as long as they're shaved, you just show up. So I said, I don't have any hair on my legs. <laughs> and I showed up and they just showed my legs. So that was typically my first job for the Weekender commercial. Oh. It was the job of my legs. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, who was your childhood idol? My childhood idol? has to be my father. I was uh, uh, also because I lost him when I was very young so I have memories of a towering personality. I have memories of him always being, he always gave me a lot of opportunity. He never said you're a girl, you can't do this, you can't do that. Uh, you know if my brothers went for karate, I went for karate. And because I was so little I hadn't seen too many movies so I wasn't really a fan of film stars and stuff. And um, Kapil Dev I used to like because my dad liked Kapil Dev. So. That's my first memory of actually liking somebody. And, uh, and uh, 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 of course, uh, Amit, Amit Ji. I cannot say Amitabh Bachchan, but Amit Ji. And Dharminder in Shole. A character that you uh, have played uh, is closest to you as a person. A character that I've played is closest to me as a person. Initially, when I started my career, I would say Reet Oberoi from Sangharsh because I was studying to, uh, uh, for criminal psychology. So I was very excited about that. And I really thought I could boil the ocean and change the world and beat up all the villains. But that wasn't true. And then after that, mm, after that, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think okay. of anything. Uh, one actor from past or present you wish you could be? Why would I want to be anything? I'm so amazing myself. <laughs> I don't want to be anybody. So, uh, sorry. That's oh, yeah. never going to happen. What's yeah. the best advice you've received? What's the best advice I've received is um, hmm, there are no shortcuts to hard work and um, what else? The fastest way is to make your dreams come true is to wake up. So um, I would say that. What's the last thing that made you laugh? What's the last thing that made me laugh would be uh, a joke. <laughs> Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> so I'm going to give you yeah, these okay. kind of answers. Okay, real quick. Who's your celebrity crush right now? 
Me? <laughs> I just look at myself and get crushed. What do you mean? Who's my celebrity crush? I'm not some oh, kid in school. We all have celebrity crushes. I don't have any celebrity crushes. Uh, uh, the last thing I crushed was an ant. <laughs> okay. So uh, I don't really. I'm sorry to break the bubble, but I don't have a celebrity. Crush. Okay. Are you an early bird or a night owl? I am. Uh, well, I'm both. Uh, if I'm shooting, I'm okay to be an early bird, but because I live half in America and half in India, I'm both. <laughs> when I'm up here late, I'm, uh, uh, it means I'm up there early, but mostly a night owl. All right. One director you want to work with? One director I want to work with? Uh, mm, there are a lot of directors. I can't think of anybody right now, but uh, I do like Sanjalila Bansali because he, uh, I've uh, mostly done very Western kind of movies, not very, very Indian movies or uh, stuff like that. So someone like him. Um, Raju Hirani, he makes amazing movies. Uh, there are a lot of directors, so I'm not going to just stop at one. Uh, can't think of some others. That's okay. okay. Uh, quickly, comfort food. Kadi chawal. <laughs> desi, I'm fully desi, sorry. Yeah. No way. No way. Kadi chawal any day. And uh, with the uh, bhindi. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite movie quote? Favorite movie quote? Uh, I would say from Kal Ho Na Ho, Aaj Apni Zindagi Jilo, Kya Pata? Kal Ho Na Ho. Awesome. Mm. And finally, what's your favorite song ever? And it'll be nice if you can sing two lines for us. Do you know, um, <laughs> so if somebody put a gun to my head and said sing and I sang, they'd shoot me. So I'm not going to sing. And my favorite song ever has to be... Uh, Okay. Uh, e okay. English or Hindi? Whatever. Favorite song. Doesn't okay. matter. Punjabi also anyway. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like a lot of songs. I'm just going to take one from Veer Zara. Uh, Janam, Dekhalo. I would think that's my favorite because um, it was made uh, in the 70s. And uh, it has a long history to it. it. It was part of one of my favorite movies. And that's it. It was nice. Amazing. Claps for that amazing rapid fire. Where that was a rapid a fire. fire. <laughs> it was a <laughs> rapid fire. <laughs> I was like a slow coach in it, but uh, it's okay. Okay, anyway, now coming back to covers. Yes, yeah. telling fans about it. I just have a question. Does the Facebook team clap for all actors when yeah. they do bad performances? <laughs> are you all being nice to me? We do a slow clap and a fast clap. Yeah. Are you being nice to me? Because it was the most thunder clap. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, but uh, on a serious note, uh, telling fans about it, uh, where did this idea, inspiration come for covers? Okay, now talking about all serious things in life. So, um, you know, uh, when I did my first movie, uh, and I got an award, a Filmfare Award for Dil Se. Uh, I remember I did an interview and they asked me in that interview that, um, how do you see yourself 10 years from now? And I said, um, in a boardroom, doing a business meeting and being an entrepreneur. And they said, why don't you just shut up <laughs> and enjoy your filmy career and enjoy your movies and stop talking like this. And I said, okay, because I was a newcomer then. But I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I wanted to uh, do business at some point in my life because I was studying criminal psychology and I never ever dreamt that I'll be an actor. So a couple of years later I got into cricket and um, I was really excited about that. And But uh, uh, being an, a citizen of this country and being a woman, I would always look around and see that, you know, um, some woman's getting raped here, some woman's getting killed here. And it's not just in India actually, this is a problem, it's all over the world. But nobody would really care. I mean, people care more about, you know, uh, 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 a cow and what's happening to that. Sorry. Was she mean? Yeah. Okay, ho gaya. Sorry, guys. It had just frozen. So, um, yeah. So, five years ago, I decided that I wanted to, uh, you know, approach the subject of women's safety and do something for it. And uh, it was, I was amazed at the response I got because a lot of people would tell me, hey, listen, let's do a business together. So I said, okay. And every time I would t tell them that I want to work in women's safety, they would tell me, uh, why don't you become a social worker? Or this is never going to work. Or the best way for women's safety is if women don't go out at night. So the kind of response I got from educated people, from people that mattered, 
kind of uh, it was kind of heartbreaking and um, sad. So it just made me more adamant, and um, it was a long uphill drive, uh, drive no walk. 